welcome to my house. I'm Frumpy Buckle, and you are fishing with Uncle Buck. We're about to embark on the last leg of our farming trip out to California. We slayed some sturgeon, we got into a lot of stripers. What we're going to touch on in this video is we're going to go over the proper release techniques, what I call strategic releasing. We're going to go over that, put that to practice. It does us real well on days four and five. We managed to pull in that last fish with that strategic release. We're going to go over a little bit more on barometric pressures. Um, we utilize that. That's We saw that in effect uh, for days, uh, I believe it was days four and five. We slayed a lot over there. We're going to go over repair costs. Um, Again, the repair costs are quite a bit, so we get to take a look at uh, what it costs to you know, repair from the lake, and then we'll go over the, the repair costs then when we get home also. Um, I think that pretty much hits it. Um, so, with that being said, uh, let's grab all of our stuff, let's fill our coolers up, and let's get out over there and catch us some carp. Um, and we're back. On the dance floor, it is day four, and we're still farming in the San Joaquin Delta. We're not out of bait yet. All right, this guy's not moving in very quickly. Come on. Come on. You want to lose that other guy? There we go. Nice quick sturgeon for the morning. Two, two, two. There we go. And we got another one. And we're starting the day off quick today. There it comes. Maybe we can get them both. Come on, come on. Give me the line quick. Give it back to me. Come on. Yeah, we got him. And a lovely way to start the morning on day four. <clears throat> well, we still have a little bit of bit of the bit of bait left. We're fishing with shrimp, small cut bait, duck muscle, and spawn sacks today, and we'll use those until I run out of them. I'm on big guy. Come on, you're going the wrong way, dude. Uh, get in here. Come on. Now you're mine. There we go. Ah, boy. All right, let's get these sticks loaded up and back in the water. We're going to see what we got here. 
Yep, striper. Oh. Striper with some weight to him. Oh no. <laughs> One of our trophy common carp. Love it. <clears throat> what do we got? Come on. Leave it to another cart. Trophy. Oh, yes. That's good money. Damn good money. On the duck meet again. I guess these carp are having fun. I'm feeding them. <clears throat> no trophy this time. Dang. Go back and get your big brother. Seem to be on the dance floor. Let's see. Do we? No. No. Yes. What is it? Catfish. Eating my shrimpies. Don't do that. Should be a trophy the way he's yanking, huh? There it comes. What do we got? Oh, he's big. Trophy. Oh, still no uni. I need a uni out of that hole. <clears throat> we'll get one when we start throwing the carp bait. Start spotting that area. <laughs> We should get a couple unis when we start carp hunting. We're not even hunting carp right now. But, down to duck meat. <laughs> so, it is what it is. And we are dancing again. Oh, there he is, another little catfish. The races. Come on. Ah, there's a sturgeon, I would believe. Been a while we've been catching carp. These little catfish. It's enough of them. I got enough negotiators, I think. And this guy's running. Okay.
think it's Thursday. Oh well, we can have another play for a little bit. See a couple cracks on him. He's out there away, he's 90 some feet. This other one's getting close. Guys, all want to be little buggers, okay? Well, he's coming at me. That's good. We gained a little bit of ground on him. He's running again. All right, I'm trying not to lose this damn guy. The big sturgeon. Ah. It's what happened to you trying to fight two big guys at one time. Ah. Buck, what'd you do, Buck? You missed him. Decent size. This guy does not want to come in. Come on. Oh, he's running along that bank. Yep, we're gonna pull him through the dirt. What? Get in here, boy. Fifty-two pounder. That other one was big too. Damn it! I wish I wouldn't have lost him. All right. In the water. Sticks in the water, you can't catch fish. Well, where's that all sitting in the wrong place? This goes in three. We'll be back. And our duck meat is coming through again for us. Everybody wants to dance all at the same time. I only got two hands, two feet. Come on. Come on, big guy. I see you. You're mine. Ooh, upside down we got him. Little 30-pounder. The sturgeon moved back in. 7 o'clock. See, we didn't hit any sturgeon from 6 to 7. It's all those carp. Same bait. 7 o'clock. Sturgeon time. One more for the road. And of course, let's always make sure that we give buck two at a time. Come on, get in there, hurry up. That one coming. That's no sturgeon. On shrimp. Hmm. That's one of our stripers. 16 pounder. back well, don't quite know yet feels heavy I'd have to say that to sturgeon if it's not it's a uni tarp Not feeling any bounce of the head.
What if this is a carp? He's huge. This guy's still running. Gotta be sturgeons. Come on, big guy. Get in there. Mmm. It's a sturgeon. Alright, that's about enough. He's still running. There he is. 47, 22, 34. I like that. What are we getting up to? We only got 13,000 right now. We need more. 340. Let's go get them. <laughs> if we got one here, somewhere in that vestuche over there, bobbers all knotted up. Carp. Sophie, maybe? Yes. God, love it. Who's beeping now over there? That bobber over there looks sick, but he's been doing it for a while. It's okay for that to do that. I'm going to try one more dance. <clears throat> Bites kind of died off here for on our day four. I'm carp, almost a 10 pounder. I got one duck muscle left. And we got ourselves another one. I think this is a carp. <laughs> he looks like it. Yeah. Big one. Another trophy. That's sweet. I think that's three or four of them trophies. I'm out of current bait. Yucky. Oh, let's see what we got here. Boom. What do you got for Uncle Buck? Oh, here's another one that doesn't want to swim. He just wants a free ride. <laughs> oh, oh, out, oh, out. 45 pounds. I like it. Now we're going to have to bait up on the other one. <clears throat> we got fish on. Fish on. Bomb pack. <laughs> Finally. We got two of them. Alright, looks like we got some fighting going on here. So we're going to have to try to, try to get them both in. Let's see what we can do. Easy. might be tough to hang on to. But I don't know that guy either. He's a big one too. Okay, he's fighting back. Let's just try in a little more. He's 
still fighting, he's still running. Should be able to get this one in on the majesty a little quicker. Come on. Yeah, we got him, but is it in time? I don't know. Is it in time? No. Yes. <laughs> we got him. I thought for sure we lost him there. When I first picked that paw up, there was nothing. I was like, damn it. We got him now. Easy. There he comes. Come on. Uh huh? That's it. Not too shabby. 41 pounder, 1935. That's a good. So we're at 516. We've got to start paying attention now. All right, we're dancing on the dance floor one more time. I was trying to get this last guy in before the 10 o'clock, but it's 1027. We didn't, what the hell's going on over there? I think I got me one that ain't quite all together there in the head. He might be a little touched. There should be a sturgeon on this spawn, huh? But I was hoping to get him in before 10. But we didn't. But he is here now. Alright, let's yank him up. Come on, buddy. You're coming in. That's it. What did we get? 36 pounder. Oh, boy, did that put us close. Oh, it actually put us over. 5.52. All right, we need a strategic release. Let's throw this guy back in there. All righty. Fishkeeper. We are only... I have to get rid of it. Probably this guy right here. There we are. Now we're at 550. This is beautiful. And one more big guy like that. And we're good. I think we're in trouble. Because if we look here. Let's go to our map. We're dead in the dead zone. So it's time to fast forward. Catch this last big guy up here. And we'll be done for the day. I'll see you once I get us over there. No parking on the dance floor. Come on, big guy. That's not a big guy. That's another negotiator. We got enough negotiators. Oh, I didn't want to keep him. All right. We'll get rid of him. Why did I even keep them? What a dumbass. Now I just gotta get rid of them when I hit. What happened to this? There we go. That's the sturgeon. <clears throat> That's what we wanted for our last fish. So we'll just get rid of that. We don't care about them other rods. We're ending this day with this fish right here. Oh, he's rather large. Still 
running, huh? This one that'd be nice for some XP point. There he is. Oh, what is the big guy? Alright, where's my slider bell for that alarm? Damn! Come on, get in here, big boy. You fat bastard. Come on. Come on. There he is. Oh, he's a big one. $23.99. Impossible. That's not true. Because we just got to go get rid of that guy. And we got it. Now, is this one still fightable? And we got him. Unbelievable. He's on. It's on. Now we can't keep this guy. But we're going to get some serious XP points for this. Which is fine. Because I'm way too far over. I'd have to get rid of 40 pounds of fish. To be able to keep him. And he is a big one. That's a shame I couldn't have grabbed these two with a little less weight in my net. Well, he tried to he tried to get away and spit my up. Got good XP on that 464 gained, but we can't keep him. I mean, we just we'd have to get rid of too much. Eight, nine, ten. There's another ten. Four fifty-two. For we lose too much money. I can't do it. Nope. And with that being said, <clears throat> we're done with this round. We're going to go ahead and forward to the next day. And I still got some fish left. I don't know if I'm going to do the carp yet. I mean, bait left. May just try to do one more day of sturgeon. All right, I'll see you later. All right, we're back, bro. <clears throat> and we're going. We've got a first one. For, we had to go ahead and fast forward to the next day. Get down here and set the hook on this guy. Another one. There we go. Look back. We lose him.
Well, we made it to day five. We're not out of bait yet, which is a good thing. So we're gonna continue with the sturgeon <clears throat> for today. This guy managed to get back up pretty good. Come on, you big fat boy. You're mine now. Forty one pounds. I ain't even big. All right, well, as you can see, I ain't even getting the sticks in the water yet. We'll be right back. Well, I knew this was going to be a good day because I was reading the barometer, and the barometer, we're in the middle of a barometer change right now. So, I can't even get four sticks in the water before I have to fight one. I'm not complaining. And there's a little negotiator for us. We know what we're going to do with them, don't we, Tom? Okay. Give me a minute. All right. Let's get him back in the water. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we can get the fourth fall out yet. Let's try. We can go quickly. I'm moving slow right now. I just had a great dinner. My little buckle bunny fixed one right up for me good tonight. I told her I wouldn't be able to walk around the lake. So good, maybe you keep your ass at home. But no, nope. here we go. Fix on. What we got here? <clears throat> I believe this is the third. Just... I'm willing to bet it is. Oh, we got him on the surface. Oh, we had him on the surface. Not any longer. You just wait a minute over there, buckwheat. Okay, then we're running. Come on. Come on. Listen, just like my cats. Like I said, <clears throat> this rod's got a little more oomph than my, than my heavy chasers. And actually the gear ratio on the reel is bigger. So we, we can pull more line in with one tank of the wheel. Come on now, I got a fish coming up here. He's going to bite that line any second. Told you. Mm. Now I gotta go set that hook. Come on. There he is. Don't get him up, boy. Don't look him up. Now he's coming up. Now he's mine. Thank you for waiting. Yes, we can dance.
be right with you. <clears throat> Been a little bit of a bugger. Well, I'm thinking pretty good that he's probably got some weight to him. If that follows the, my theory that the big ones run to the lagoon. So, I'm expecting something pretty close to 50 pounds here. Mm. He is one fat boy here. Come on, boy. You mine. bigger. All right, we'll get these weapons back in the, in the wall off. We'll be right back. And we just got asked to dance. Well, I'd be more than happy to oblige you, young lady. This is not a surgery. He's a striper. We'll take him. Eating my shrimp, though. Don't appreciate that. Alrighty, now. They can do that. We'll be back. Yes, indeedy. What do we got here? Coming in too slow for a sturgeon. Another striper. All right, he's eating my bait. I'm gonna have to change my hole. I'll just move it a little bit to the left to bring it in just a hair more. Maybe we can keep his stripers off of it. There we go. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna dance a little more here. Well, as you can see, this is day eight. I kind of switched things up a little bit. We were out fishing for carp, and uh, <laughs> it's a lovely day in the neighborhood. Come on, get in here quickly. All right, there's one, Sophie. Okay, he's still beeping. Four. I still got one alive. Come on. Another trophy. Three trophies. And a cop.
And what I'm doing, what I got on here for bait, guys, is I'm running uh, tiger nut bolies, bolies on the two carp rods. And I've got some spicy worm method mix on them. And I got some universal ground bait for in my bottom rods. I switched over from sinkers to closed feeders. And I'm running the universal molasses there with the crawfish cut on these rods. That's one thing nice about these bottom rods is it, it, it allows you to basically kind of turn it into a carp rod. Um, it gives you a feeder that, that you put on instead of the sinker. And then you can put ground bait that you mix up in these. Boy, this is a big guy. This, this might be a uni. I hope he is. Because he is running and not the head's not slapping back and forth so I don't think he's a sturgeon Get up here, I got fish to catch and you're in my way. Damn it. Things have seemed to calm down a little bit here. What do we have here? A hey, uni. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Nicely done. Twenty-five forty-six. You gotta love that, guys, huh?
I know I got a lot out there. Where would he be? Ah, there's no sense in putting another mark out there. I know they're out there. <laughs> right there. Went too far on that one. Hmm, well, we're back. I think we got ourselves another uni on here. I'm not quite sure yet. It could be just a big trophy. Uh, anything that fights this hard on my carp rod. The deep horizon can yank some pretty big carp in. What we got? Another uni. Yeah. I love it. I love it. We're off to the races. Got this one. Now this I was just playing around while I was fishing for carp. Just trying to grab a couple of more sturgeon. Put some clam meat on here. I never used it here before. <laughs> Usually use this down in blue crab. I don't imagine I got myself a sturgeon. Yep, that's a sturgeon. I can see him now. Come on, big boy. You're mine. Thank you. 37. That's nice. That's nice. All right. First of all, let's put this guy away. Get these, get these sticks back out there. And we got ourselves another uni. Forty three pounder. Yeah. Well guys, we're done. Nine days. Made some money. We're on our way out. We're gonna head back up. So first thing out, We've got repair work to do on Her Majesty. Ooh, there's four grand there. Ooh, seven grand on the reel. My chum chest. Thirty-two sixty-five. Hmm. Oh, well. Fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand nine hundred and thirty two in repair costs. Oh well. But there we go. Two hundred and twenty one thousand. Would have been nice if we had to bring him and the sturgeon master. Oh, well, that's it for this trip guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you back home. Welcome home, Buck here, and we have just completed eight days of farming in California. I love fishing out there, fishing for that sturgeon, those carp, the big uni carp, the trophies, and we hit some good unis out there, we hit some good trophies. We made some money, we had a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did fishing out there today. <clears throat> so what did, we, what did we accomplish in this one? Well, we were able to exercise proper release techniques, so strategic releasing as we did at the end of each day to get as much weight in our fish net as we possibly could. So that helped us out quite a bit in each day. We were able to utilize our what we learned on barometric pressure reading that. Uh, we had a couple of days, I believe it was day four and day five, that we had good barometric pressure and we slayed them. A lot of fun on those days. <clears throat> We got to go over some of the on-site repairs. The repair costs that I keep talking about, that are so expensive when you go farming and you beat your equipment up like that. And we were able to see on the way out there that 
you know, just what we could repair on site before we left the lake was 14932 for one pole and a reel and the tackle box. Now, what was nice about that, like I said, in the, and you can hit my, uh, hit my uh, rods and maintenance, uh, rods and equipment maintenance uh, video up for more in depth on that. But one of the procedures that I talked about in there is don't take your tackle box when you're home to get it repaired because you have to refill it all and you lose everything. Uh, we were able to get our tackle box repaired without moving anything right there on the spot. That cost us, I think it was $3,200 just for that. But we were able to come back home then. Um, let's go back here and over here. Basically, what <clears throat> I had these uh, notes in here for when we had done this farming trip. So it cost us $13,165 to get bait before we went there, $17,800 for our travel and licenses. And of course, it cost me another 11000 because I was a dumbass and took the wrong fish net the first time, if you remember in the first video. Um, then we had our extension fees. So we had seven days of extending. We were there eight days, so that was $14,000. And we had, like I said, we had our 14932 repairs on the lake. And when I got home to fix up my, my two the three other poles that didn't get done, that was another 28187 and I had to repair the fishnet damage too. So we're well over $59,000 just for the cost to go there. Take home, we brought 221000 home. We had our expenses. We profited about one hundred and sixty-two grand on that. Not a bad trip at all. Now, what I didn't get to talk about we didn't go, um, <clears throat> we didn't hit honey hole number two. We fished mainly out of honey hole number one the whole eight days that we were there. There is another honey hole two over there, um, honey hole one. We basically sat up here, we threw into this side over here. I wanted to show you guys, since we didn't go over there, this is a well-known spot over there. This would be the honey hole two. You, you spawn in at fishing the beaver, that little island. You turn around, face this building, and you throw into this corner. Anywhere into this deep corner in the back here, you're going to slay the sturgeon. Now, I don't catch very many carp in Honey Hole 2. When I'm here for carping, it's Honey Hole 1, and we pretty much stay there the whole time. So, <clears throat> what we cover? We covered the Honey Holes. We got the proper release techniques. The trophy, you got to see where that trophy hole is. Uniques, trophies, carps. Hit them there all the time. Make lots of money. And I didn't talk about it in the video, but you could actually go back and look at them if you want to. I was talking about how much money those carp are bringing in, 1100 But the XP on those carp are excellent. They, they bring you in anywhere from 900 to to $1,000 a fish. That's a real XP. That's the way to level up real quick. You hunt them carp. Hit that hole over there. All righty. Well, I think that's pretty much everything that we've got covered in San Joaquin Farming. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you got to have as much fun out there with the eight days as I did. I love going there again. Um, we're going to do some more farming videos. We're going to hit the Everglades because that's one that everybody can hit earlier on. Um, actually, I'm going to show you. I'm going to create a video on farming Lone Star Lake. <laughs> when you get broke, where are you going to fish? Lone Star. You need to know how to farm that lake. No, you're not going to make money in big fish like this, but you can farm Lone Star and you can make money to get yourself back on track and get moving again in fishing plan. So, please, like, hit the like button down there. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. You'll get notified when I throw up a new video. You can check it out. Let me know. I like them likes. Keep on fishing again. Tight lines and never, ever give up the fight. And you're fishing with Uncle Buck.